guys happy sabbath happy sabbath and welcome back i know like if you see me with the same clothes it's because i'm doing multiple videos at the same time i'm just gonna put them in different time frames but i'm just doing at least three or four at the same time so let's move on we are going to go to the next the next part part number two of chapter four We've been looking at chapter four so far. We were we were stopped at verse number thirteen, and I said I was gonna start the next one because that's gonna be important. Listen, could you believe this? Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not into the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some one to fall. For they eat bread, for they eat the bread of wickedness, and drink the wine of violence. You know what I'm gonna say? I wonder if Solomon was quoting somebody else when he wrote this part. But verse number eighteen. But the path of the just is as the shining light, and that that shineth more and more in unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is darkness; they know not at what they stumble. I wonder if Solomon was quoting somebody. Come on, does anybody know? Does anybody know exactly what that does? Verses I just read, what they relate to, I think that Solomon's quoting his father, because these verses is way too close to what his father wrote. And do you know what his father wrote? In case you didn't know, let me show what it is. Psalm chapter one. This is Psalms chapter one, the way of the righteous, and the end of the ungodly. You see right here, it says, from verse number fourteen through verse number eighteen, enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not into the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and they sleep, and their sleep is taken away unless they have caused someone to fall for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the water of violence but the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day the way of the wicked is darkness as darkness they know not at what they stumble does that not look like some chapter one to you blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, who the either nor stands in the path of the sinners. Funny. Um, verse number 15, oh, verse number 11, 14, enter not in the path of the wicked, the wicked of the sinners, go not in the way of evil men, nor stand in the path of the sinners, no sit in the seat of the scornful. Avoid it. Pass not by the path. Turn away from the path. Pass away from the path of the wicked. Man, that sounds like some chapter one to me. Like, literally. Let's keep on reading chapter one. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in, and in his law, he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bring forth fruit, but that bring forth his fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Let's see here. Um, but the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect man. Verse back to chapter one of chapter of um of some chapter one. But the ungodly are not so, 
but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. And what is it right here? The way of the wicked is darkness, for they know not at what they stumble. Man, Solomon was literally quoting his dad from some chapter one. <laughs> Interesting, is that? Yes. Did, 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 you, did you guys see that comparison right here? I did. I did. God showed it to me. And I'm glad now you can see it because I had to show you that part. Man. But let's keep on moving. Verse number 20. My son, my son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my saints. Let them not depart from thine eyes, keep them in the midst of thine heart. Whatever we just read from verse 14 to verse 18 or verse 19, we need to keep that. Okay, listen. Right now, it might look as if the way of the sinners are the best thing to go. They make money, they have the nicest cars, they, their business are growing, they might be flourishing. But at the end, it's destruction. I'm going to read something else to you guys. That way you guys can understand what am I what I am talking about. You might be thinking, what if the way of the wicked are, are prosperous? How could it be that they're gonna go down? Well, let me tell you something. I'm gonna keep that for you at the end. Verse number twenty two. For they are life unto those that find them, which is the words that we just read earlier. In health unto thy unto their flesh, keep thy heart with all thy all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. The way you walk through life gives a testimony to the kind of person you are. If your heart is wicked, then your life is gonna show it. It may not show it in the sense of money. Not because you got a lot of money means you are doing everything right. Yeah. Right? Put away from thee a forward mouth, which is a perverse mouth, and perverse lips put far from it. From the those people that like to cuss. You all need to stop cussing. If you have a cussing problem, Ask God to help you stop cursing. Pervert, perverse lips, forward mouth. You like to gossip, talk down on people, put them away from you. Yes. What? Verse number 25. Let thine eyes look right on and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. <sighs> what does that mean? Well, okay. You know how you are... We, actually, okay, we are all immune to wanting to do what is wrong. That's a given fact, right? Myself included. The, whatever that is wrong thing... That's exactly what we want to do, myself included. And to not do the wrong thing is to fight. You need to fight. You need to fight to not do the wrong thing because it's easy to do the wrong thing. It's hard to do the right thing. Which means if you don't want to, if you want to do the right thing, 
which also means you don't want to, you want you don't want to do the wrong thing. You need to fight. You've got to fight to do the right thing because the wrong thing is the easiest thing to do. Making a false financial statement is the easiest thing to do so you can get more money. Yes, giving the cheapest product is the easiest thing to do. Yeah, making people pay for something that is so small is the easiest thing to do. Not helping people is the easiest thing to do. Somebody calls you bad names and then later on they ask you to if you can give them like some money or some food. The easiest thing to do is what? Is to cuss them out or tell them was any you that were that was calling that actually were calling me by bad names earlier and never my help? You would say go to Yeah. So Doing the right thing is never that easy thing to do. But, let me tell you something. Do you remember when we just read that part? Oh yeah, I did mention to you um, that um, those that are making money doesn't mean they are doing good, right? Oh, if this is all, if those people that are doing those things are doing evil things, yet they are getting money, how come this is a bad thing? Well, let me tell you right now. Psalm chapter 92. This is a Sabbath song. Psalm. And let's read it all together. Praise to the Lord for his love and faithfulness. It's a psalm. It's a song for the Sabbath day. Which right now, which is right where I am, we're Friday afternoon. Close to getting to the Sabbath. Because Sabbath starts at Friday, whenever the sun goes down, then ends at Saturday. Yeah, Friday's um, Sabbath starts when the sun goes down on Friday and ends Saturday when the sun goes down. It says, It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your, lovely, your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night. On, on an instrument of ten strings, on the lute and the harp, with harmonious sound, for you, Lord, have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in your works, in the works of your hands. O oh Lord, how great are your works! Your thoughts are very deep. A senseless man does not know, which means, nor does a fool understand this. I almost said the word fool. When the wicked spring up like grass. When the wicked springs up like grass and when all the workers of iniquity flourish it is that they may be destroyed forever but thou O lord but you lord are on high forevermore for behold your enemies O lord for behold your enemies shall perish and the workers of iniquity shall be scattered but my horn you have exalted like a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil. My eye also shall be shall have seen my desire on my enemies. My ears hear my desire on the wicked who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing to declare that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no up unrighteousness in him. At the end of the day, the wicked that spring up like grass, they will be destroyed forever. Listen here. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They do not know at what they stumble. Again, it's the open door TV. Food for thought.